on to one of my favorite stories for today. Retired Major General Edward Greer looks back on his historical career and life as he approaches his 100th birthday. And KTSM News 9 News reporter Jesus Baltasar had the honor of meeting and sitting down to talk about Greer's life. So let's go take a look. Born and raised in West Virginia, Major General Edward Greer is now nearing a century on Earth. Having made the Sun City his home for most of his retirement, we sat down with him to reflect on his distinguished military career. You, you are sitting talking about my career today, some umpteen years later after the initial throes of, of uh, integration. So yes, it, it was a successful venture. And all the other, me and all the other guys that, that came along, survived, were, were successful stories too. General Greer first enlisted in the Army during World War II. In his 31 years of service, he would also participate in the Korean and Vietnam Wars. I would say maybe one was a gentleman's war and the other was hell. That was a whole lot different from Korea. Hmm. You could at least uh, drive some of the roads and things like that in your area uh, safely. But <laughs> that was not the case in Vietnam. Rising through the military ranks in times of segregation and monumental change, General Greer recalls being selected as one of five black soldiers to be promoted to the rank of Brigadier General on the same day in 1972. That was... That was quite a step, for one thing, for the Army, so I, I'll say, to have the guts to, to promote five blacks at one time. And it has never been done since, according to General Greer. He would also serve at the Pentagon for many years before retiring in 1976, having trained at Fort Bliss on several occasions during his career. El Paso drew him back. You see this weather out here? It's far different from Washington, D.C., but it's such an enjoyable pace of life, uh, I find, to live here. Nearing a new milestone in his life, for General Greer, the chase and pursuit of new goals has no end in sight. I know that uh, every day is an achievement for me. After uh, making the hundred, we want to make 101. <laughs> we will have an in-depth feature article on General Greer's career in the weeks leading up to his birthday. So make sure you stay up to date on our website, ktsm.com. Reporting in studio, Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News.